Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and an unboxing from a place that I've never unboxed on YouTube. I have done unboxings with this company on TikTok, but I thought this would be interesting and great for YouTube. First, let me do an introduction. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark and a little bit of Macari. This channel is mainly about my reselling journey. So you'll see videos such as unboxings, tips and tricks videos, that occasional haul will be there, and then what sold videos. So before I get into this box, I do wanna mention that I do have an affiliate link. It should be in the description down below. Also, if you are interested in any of their boxes, I do have a code for 20% off. So make sure you use that. Okay, so We Bargain has lots and lots of boxes. They have home boxes, they have shoe boxes, they have clothing boxes, they have Lowe's boxes, Home Depot boxes, Amazon premium boxes. All those boxes usually contain returns or just shelf pulls after they have not sold. So they may come a little bit damaged or a lot damaged, but this box, let me give you, give you a sneak peek, is their unclaimed mailbox. So these are all pieces of mail that were undeliverable and came back to either Amazon or somewhere else. So this is a complete mystery. So We Bargain has no idea what's in it. Obviously, I have no idea what's in it. So let's find out together. All right, so if you wanna take a quick look in the box, I mean, things are just flying out. They are just like packages that weren't delivered or just didn't make it to their home. So this is gonna be really exciting. All right, so it looks like most of these say Walmart returns and then they do have the person's address on it. So I, I would be a little bit nervous about that, but if it was undeliverable, then they probably don't live there anymore. Okay, so I'm super excited to get into this box and let's see what we got. First up, a Ziploc bag and it looks like there's a bra and underwear in there. I'm hoping this is swimwear. So let's just see. Uh, yeah, so it's just swimwear. It unfortunately does not have tags on it, so I will be unable to sell it. I could sell the top, uh, but it's not branded at all. So uh, probably not going to sell this and probably going to donate it. All right, next up is another Walmart return. Um, so this is blue. I'm not sure what it is. It does have a China sticker on it, so it did come from China. It's a size medium, so let's see what it is. All right, so it is a pair of either capris or shorts, depending on how you look at it. They're blue. They feel kind of linen-y, but again, there is, oh, there is a tag. Okay, 95% polyester and 5% spandex, but again, there's no brand on this, so I'm not really sure that I will be selling this, but again, a good donation item. All right, next up is, I don't know, it's in... It's another, it's in Chinese, so I'm assuming it's another China item. Looks like a tank top, so um, it's zip-locked, which is weird, but we'll check it out. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to demonstrate how you wear this, but I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> uh, so I think this is more of like a corset. It's very cheaply made uh, from China, so... There's the little thingies here that you put together. And then here are the, the little slots for your like boobies. So that's interesting. Yeah, this one was already ripped open. So a uh, plastic bag, Ziploc again. I don't know what to put the Ziplocs. Uh, this is a size 3XL, so that might be good. Again, it's from China, so it probably won't have a name or brand name that I know of. Ooh, fancy. So this is a, no idea. Oh, oh, okay. So this is like a kimono, I guess, or like a sheer bathing suit cover with uh, the little lace. I think this is pretty. I might actually keep this. Nope, I can't. It's 3XL. Uh, so it'd be extremely oversized on me. But again, there's no brand on it. So I'm not sure that it would be sellable, but it might be if I just use the right keywords and put it out there as a 3XL with the little uh, fringe at the bottom. So it's kind of fun. Whoa, oh. this is very orange. Oh, there's a picture. Gosh, let me, let me show you the picture. Look at that booty. Is that a booty? Yeah, I think that's a booty. <laughs> so, 
that's what they look like. I don't know that I'm going to take these out because I already know there's no brand on it. Um, yeah, so stuff, I've ordered stuff. I feel like this is like what you buy on Wish, that app that ships stuff from China, like super cheap. So I feel like that's a lot of what these are. Side note, I was kind of hoping for like more of like gift card or like perfume or like maybe like fancy jewelry. Ugh, that would have been awesome. Um, so I don't know that any of that is this but we'll keep going. All right, I'm gonna try one of the Byrons. So um, it's not wrapped in Ziploc or plastic at all. So it could have been damaged. Uh, wow, it's really, really stuck in there. Probably gonna rip a hole in it, but yeah, I don't, I don't think it would matter. There's something on it. Do you wanna see? It looks like something came with it. Okay, so this is a skirt. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is um, a dress thing, maybe it would be good for a wedding. Uh, you could just wear this the night of your uh, wedding and have, have a really good time in a long sleeve lace see-through gown. So, I don't know that I'm gonna sell this. It is a size small, again, no brand, but um, definitely different, definitely, definitely different. Ooh, this one was kind of, it was kind of jangly, but maybe I broke it. Okay, so maybe this is some jewelry. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's okay. It's a watch. Uh, let me let me see if it works. All right, it has the little tab on it, so I'm assuming it works. But I may actually just give this to my daughter or my niece who uh, may like something like this. Is that a cat? No, no, it's just hearts. So, I mean, again, this looks like something that people order on Wish. Uh, so, yep, I don't know. It's just. It kind of looks cheap. Right next up, another a Ziploc baggie. And let's see what's in here. It looks all wrinkly. Oh, it came with the bag. I'm sure the original bag. So I'm pretty sure this was a return. Um, okay. So it's just a shirt. And you know what? I wonder if I could find the stock photos for these with the um, bags that it came in. Maybe I could look it up and find the stack photos and maybe I could sell it that way. I probably won't get much, but you know, when things come from China, they take like 500 years to get to you. So, you know, maybe these, the things that I don't wanna keep for myself, uh, I will see if I can uh, look this up real quick and uh, stick it on eBay or Poshmark. All right, so this one came with a return and it says women's ladies uh, summer holiday bikini mini romper. So if I put in that, oh, the quality was poor on this. So great, <laughs> that's exactly what I want. So let's just, let's just check it out. I'm pretty sure it'll be cheap bag brick because I'm pretty sure that's what she meant. Uh, so it's cute. It's cute. It's definitely the fabric is definitely not the best of quality. It's not terrible, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of like I don't really know what to do with this stuff. So uh, I might look it up and see like what China or wherever wherever this place is was charging, and maybe I can charge half price and maybe say something about the quality. I don't know how that works. So, okay. All right, if you stuck with me this long, this is my last one. It's huge. So definitely not gonna be jewelry or gift card or anything that I wanted. Um, but maybe maybe it'll be a pool toy. I could use one of those. I just got a pool. So maybe, maybe it'll be something fun. Uh, nope, <laughs> it's uh, a jacket. It looks nice. I don't know, I, um, it's a size medium. So let me bust into this and show you what it looks like. Okay, so already there's stringy strings dangling. So 
that was not a good sign, but let's check this. Oh, oh, okay, it's a set. So it's a pair of joggers. These are cute, I kind of like these. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, oh, okay. It, I thought the inside was ripping. Uh, it's definitely a very cheap material. I can tell, a made in China. Uh, no brand, obviously. We've, we've already covered that. But, I mean, they're cute. I might... Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let me... Is there a tail on the back? Is that a little piggy tail? <laughs> so, there's a little tail on the back of the fabric coming out of the actual, like, butthole. So... <laughs> I, I'm trying not to make fun of this box because I would like you guys to use my code, but I can understand if you don't. Uh, I mean, this is cute. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I think it was... Nope. Come on. Come on. Stretch out. Oh, I heard something pull. Did it break something on the inside? Oh, it's like a spider web in here. <laughs> so maybe if I, if I clean this up a little bit, I, <laughs> I can uh, sell it. Yeah, so uh, probably just gonna donate everything. I may try and see, but I do have a lot to list right now. So prob probably not. <laughs> it is fun to try out different companies and different mystery boxes. And especially being one that like even the company can't like nitpick the items and cater it towards a certain influencer or a just a certain person in general. So I hope you found this box just kind of entertaining and fun to watch. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you're interested in this box or if you're interested in looking at any of the other boxes that they have for sale, uh, please check out their website, webargain.com. I do have an affiliate link down below. So click on that and then go check out those boxes. And remember, if you do order a box of any sort, uh, you can use my code GJ20 to get 20% off. Also, if you have ordered a box in the past or if you are planning to order a box, let me know what your experience is like. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Yes. Um, so I just got this unclaimed mail we bargain box. The best part about this is nobody knows what's inside. I don't know. They don't know. You don't know. But let's find out what's in it together. Ah! All right, so I just ripped the package open and it's full of returns. This one says Walmart. This one says Byron, whatever that is. And all the rest are Walmart. Let's dig in. First up, this watch. Oh, this is for sure going to my daughter. But bam this fun romper. What up, G? Boom, this too cool hoodie. It's matching pants? If I wasn't already married, I'd wear this on my wedding night. No, correction. I'd wear this. Ah! Unzip. Ooh, fancy. Too big for me, but still cute though. Again, these boxes are so fun to open because nobody knows what's inside. If you're interested in this box or any of their other boxes, use my link in my bio. Also, I now have a code for 20% off any box. That's GJ20. And as a special perk, that includes free shipping. Let me know if you end up getting a box.